Hey, what's up guys? My name is David Kim and I am back here today with another video um, from Code Wars. Uh, yeah, welcome to Algos Explained. That's what we are. We explain algorithms here and we've been taking our algorithms from a code base called uh, Code Wars and yeah, what this website does is just gives you a lot of problems and it gives you a platform where you can plug in your solution and attempt it and see if you got the right answer or not. And um, right now we're looking at a level 8 question, 8Q here, that stands, uh, I think that's the lowest one, and then it goes all the way up to probably 1, maybe 0, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the question together, and then we're going to solve it together. And I'm going to explain kind of my thought process uh, going through that, uh, like that, yeah. And so this one's called Grasshopper Summation. Write a program that finds a summation of every number between 1 and num the number will always be a positive integer greater than zero and so this is a really easy question um, if you already um, probably something that you won't get during a whiteboarding session but possibly something that you will get uh, maybe over the phone maybe you're talking to an engineer over the phone for the first time like maybe like round one of kind of the interview process something like that this is kind of something that they might throw at you just to make sure you know what you're talking about just to make sure that you are an engineer and you know kind of the basics of maybe just a, a, a simple loop because that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna be using here so given that question uh, we already know that you know there's gonna be a sum and they're gonna it's always gonna be between one and just the number that they give us and so <clears throat> um, super simple you take one and you go all the way to the number and you just sum it all up and so let's go ahead and do that we are going to uh, create a variable well we're gonna output a sum later on so we're gonna first of all we're gonna create a sum variable and we're just gonna set that to zero and we don't want to set it to one because maybe um, maybe they give us the number or well I guess it's up to you you can always uh, tweak the logic for that but I, I chose the number zero because say uh, they give us one as uh, the parameter then I want the for loop or the for loop that we're going to create to at least move one one time, and so in the end we're going to return sum here. And so, like I said, we're going to create a for loop. We're going to have a loop that uh, increments itself or adds to the sum until we reach the num. And so, a very easy way to do that is to is with the for loop. So we're going to have that start at one actually, uh, because it's between one and the number. And so I guess if the number if the number that they gave us was one, uh, like in this example down here, uh, the output is going to be one. And so i uh, is less than or equal to num, and i plus plus. And so pretty much what we're going to do here is we're going to just increment the sum by the variable i. And so as long as the num goes up, it's going to do that. And maybe a question like this level, yeah, like I said, it's probably not going to be something that you're going to be doing on the whiteboard, but possibly over the phone. And um, with easy questions like this, um, I think that it's always best for you to be aware that they might try to throw a curveball at you, kind of, you know, um, adding to this question, because uh, honestly, it's just so simple. Um, for our purposes, it's a level eight, and I chose that on purpose. But they might say, okay, uh, previously I said that there were going to be any numbers less than zero like it says here it's going to be always a positive integer greater than zero and they might ask you okay what if it wasn't a positive number what if it was a negative number how would that affect it how would that make things different and then you would want to answer um, you would probably say okay do we want a sum of the negative numbers and if so um, and if they say yes then, or they'll ask you how will that affect it, maybe something like how will that affect it if we gave you a negative number, and you would say do you want a sum of negative numbers, and if they say no, then you would say well then the answer would be zero, um, and if they say yes, then you would kind of be like okay let me tweak the tweak my solution and show you how we can do that, because um, if they did say they want a sum of negative numbers too, our for loop wouldn't work for that, because it would never go past the one, and so yeah. That's pretty much uh, that's pretty much how this one would go. Um, if they did decide they want a sum of negative numbers, that's kind of um, a whole new problem, but kind of in the realm of this summation one. So there you go. This one was an easy one. 
what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to upload a JS file to my uh, GitHub, and which will be linked down below. And feel free to look at that JS file, run that JS file on your own computer if you want. And if you want to uh, add to that, um, kind of like maybe right under my solution, uh, have your GitHub name and uh, want to plug in your um, your solution if it's different or whatnot. Feel free to do that. Just uh, it'll be a good practice. Maybe if you're not too familiar with uh, how GitHub works and you want a chance to kind of uh, fork a repo and kind of contribute to a random uh, repository, feel free to do it. Um, yeah, it's there, and I will look at that. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. It was a fairly simple one. You just We just summed a number with a for loop, and uh, that was it. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.